Yo, what's up guys? It's been a minute. I know you missed me. Maybe you didn't, but I definitely miss you guys. How's it all going? I'm here to announce today, Anos Gaming, my channel, will no longer be making Warzone content. I know it's sad, but it's going to be okay. I hope. I'm not sure. I started Anos Gaming about two years ago and we gained over 40,000 subscribers just by making Warzone tips and tricks videos. So before we continue, I just want to say thank you for all the support you guys have provided so far. We really have built a really nice, cool community. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate everything. So here are some of the reasons why I am quitting Warzone. The original game is basically dead and Warzone 2 is just not my cup of tea. Look, as a result of that, you probably noticed the channel's been pretty dead the last couple months, and I've been MIA. I've been enjoying my life outside of content. Yes, I do have a life outside of the internet, I think. But yeah, this is my hot take, and you're probably going to disagree with me. Warzone 2 is not that good, in my opinion. Cancel. Just, yeah, that's just my opinion, guys. I just enjoyed Warzone 1 a lot better. I preferred the pacing, the movement, the gun mechanics, the maps, and just the game in general. Don't get me wrong, I did give Warzone 2 a chance. I was actually really looking forward to the new iteration, but I felt like it was a step back from the original Warzone. The looting, the loadout system, the gulag, the AI, it's just, yeah, it just wasn't for me. We didn't really click, if you know what I mean. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Is Warzone 1 better or is Warzone 2 better? Please argue amongst yourselves. So back on the subject, when I generally do something, I always want to be the best. I'm always super competitive and I just don't see myself grinding Warzone 2. It's just not a game for me. I miss the B-Hops, the slide cancels and just the mechanics of the original game. You might really like Warzone 2. Good for you, but just for me, it just... Yeah, it feels a bit clunky and I'm just completely trashed at the game anyways. So there is no point me making Warzone tutorials anymore. I'll still play the game here and there, but it just, yeah, it looks like my Warzone content career is over. I'm a bit sad, but this is a blessing in disguise. Let me explain. Am I still going to be making content? Yes, 100%. However, going forward, my target audience will be very niche. This channel's content will probably not be for you anymore. I did have to take a couple months off from YouTube to figure out what I want to do for this channel. Even I was thinking, am I going to keep this channel going? What game should I play now? Where can I have the most impact on YouTube? I love making content. I love YouTube. I love the monetization program, if you know what I mean. So here it is. This is what I've decided. My focus will now be helping people with gaming content creation, especially on YouTube. The mission now for Andos Gaming is to help people grow their gaming channels. Essentially, I'll be making tips and tricks videos on how to grow your gaming channel on YouTube. This can be like how to post videos correctly, how to edit videos, how to make thumbnails and so on. So yeah, that's my direction for the next couple years and we'll see what happens next. I do think sometimes, is this really the right move for Andos Gaming? Let's wait and see. Having a successful gaming channel made me extremely fulfilled. It gave me a reason to wake up early, stay up late at night, just working on my videos. I remember trying to grow this channel from zero to 40,000 subscribers. It was extremely difficult. A lot of mistakes were made. There were a lot of tears. But in the end, it was worth it, I think. There wasn't a lot of information catered towards gaming YouTube channels. It was all just really generic stuff more catered towards the general public. And us gamers, we are just different. I am different. I had to do heaps of research across multiple sources on strategies, production, editing, audio settings, the YouTube algorithm, short form content, how to do thumbnails and everything else beneath the sun. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. Hopefully I can provide some value for gaming content creators on this platform. My videos will be catered towards people who want to start gaming channels. So if that is you, please stick around. I know this will be very niche. So this channel may not be relevant to you anymore. I'm not oblivious to that fact. I just want to say thank you who supported me so far. It really has been a journey and this is the next chapter for Andos Gaming. Getting to 40K subs, making Call of Duty tips and tricks videos have been super fun. To be honest, I kind of sucked at the game as well. You gotta fake it till you make it, right? Eventually, I did get pretty decent at the game. 
It was a hell of a journey. Anyways, I've been able to meet some really cool people along the way. I do appreciate you guys. I'll be making heaps of free content and posting them on different platforms to build the channel. One of my goals is to build a membership program or some sort of course on my personal website. This is to help content creators more effectively to produce tangible results and essentially build a community. This has been in the pipes for a couple months now, so please stay tuned. Anyways, that is all for me. I am no longer a Warzone content creator. This is an end of an era. It's bittersweet. I did put a lot of work in this channel. I remember staying up late nights, not going out, not having my weekends just to edit these goddamn Call of Duty videos. So I do hope you enjoyed them. Um, I really thought I was going to be a content creator for the rest of my life. A, sorry, a Call of Duty content creator. I know we're different. But yeah, they took out slide cancelling, so I had to get out. If I don't see you around, I really do wish you all the best. Good luck out there, and I'll catch you next time.